hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can bypass samsung a10s the latest version that is right now is kind of complicated to bypass so in this video i'm just going to show you how you can bypass it so make sure you follow my steps and stay tuned so let me just show you so that you will confirm that this phone is being blocked as you can see it's asking for the, for the past password that was inside the phone and when you click on here it will surely ask the google account that was inside the phone before the phone got reset so as you can see so right now i'm just going to show you how you can bypass it first so what we will need to do right now you will need to go back then go to your pc so see you will have this program right here you will need to check the link in this video description and download the program it's actually for free then follow my steps as soon as you have downloaded the program as soon as you have downloaded the program you are just going to make sure that you have installed samsung drivers on your pc you can still check the link in this video description so as soon as you have done that So as soon as you have downloaded the program and installed the, the, the Samsung drivers, make sure that your PC is connected to an internet connection. Then you are going to plug in your USB on your phone. And when you plug in your USB on your phone, then you will have the port right here. So what you will need to do, you are just going to go here, read info, MTP. You are just going to tap, tap on it wait for it to read the device so as soon as the, the, the info is being read that you are just going to come right here so as soon as you have read the info you are just going to come right here or mobile FRP you are just going to tap to tap on here make sure the, the screen of the phone is, is on then hold on for a second and make sure your PC is connected to an internet connection so you are just going to click on start frp browser mtp so you are just going to wait and be looking at your phone make sure your screen does not go off the screen of your phone does not go off so right here as when it prompts up like this you are just going to click on view so when you click on view right now let me leave my pc so that we can concentrate on the phone here so as soon as you are right here on your phone right now it's you are in chrome right now so you are just going to type in n v n rom you're just going to search on v n rom then click on this first website right here so when you click on the first website right here as soon as you are in the website you are going to scroll down you are going to check on android hidden settings and click on open so for mine mine i already downloaded it when you click on the 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 settings when you click on the settings to open it will ask you to sign in your, go, your samsung account it will ask you to sign in a samsung account so make sure you try and create a samsung account even in a different phone so that when it asks you to sign in you'll just input the samsung account then it will download the program as soon as the program is done downloaded it will open right here like this so when you are into the app in the settings you are going to try to search screen lock click on these settings right here ignore the ads you can cancel it you're going to click on the type you are going to search screen lock so right here then you are going to click on the first one then it will take you right here so if the phone if the phone was asking you to input the, the last pattern or pin or password then you are going to to select the same thing that the phone was asking so mine was asking for a password so i'm just going to click on a password right here then you are going to input any password that you want to use you are going to input input any password that you want to use so i just write down say so it's right here then 
you're going to input the password right here again. Input the password right here again. So right now you have already input imported the password. So we are just going back. Go back, 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 back. Let's see if it's working. Going to click on next. Click on next right here. Then let's try that password right now. Let me input sages. Let's see, let's see, let's see, man. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified anytime that I upload a new video. I do tutorial videos on how you can repair mobile phones and many more tutorial videos. So make sure I can see everything. As you can see, everything is getting done right now. So let me just reach the, the launcher so that you will confirm that everything is working quite all right so if it's not your phone make sure that you change the password that you input in the phone when you are trying to unlock just need to give the phone some time to get done Click on next. Skip. Click on here, then finish. Wait for the Android system to load. It's taking some time to load because it's the first time so let me just go to the settings right now and show you the android version that is running inside this phone you see the android version right here android 10 so Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel because this is going to work. It's actually going to work. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos. I do tutorial videos on how you can repair mobile phones, how you can grow on YouTube and many other videos. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you comment if it's working so that I will know.